In the previous video, we had an introduction to the effect hook. We learned that it is used for causing side effects in functional components. I also mentioned that use effect is capable of handling what component did mount, component did update, and component will unmount lifecycle methods were capable of doing in class components. So in this video, let's take a look at an example to see how to use the effect hook as a feature that can mimic component did mount and component did update, but in functional components. Again, for the benefit of the viewers who are familiar with class components, let us first quickly take a look at what the code looks like in a class component. I have already created the component called class counter one. Let us take a look at the code. You can see that we have a class component. In the constructor, we initialize the count value to zero. In component did mount, we use the initial value of count and set the document title to the count value. Next, in the render method, we have a button and on click of that button, we increment the count value by one. The component will update and this time in component did update, we set the document title again to the updated count value. Pretty simple, a component that updates the document title with the counter value. I have included the component in app.js and if I take a look at the browser, you can see that initially the document title is clicked zero times and when I click on the button, the count value increments by one and updates the title as well. Now let's try to replace this functionality with a functional component or to be more precise, replace component did mount and component did update with the effect hook. I'm going to create a new file and name it hookcounter1.js. Now the first step is to create a simple counter. Let's forget about the side effects for a minute. Lucky for us, we have already seen in the previous videos how to implement a counter using the state hook. Let's quickly add the code. I'm going to use the snippet RFCE to create a functional component. Next, we import use state to implement the counter. In the function body, create a state variable and the corresponding setter function. So const count comma set count is equal to use state and the initial value of count is zero. Next, in the JSX, add a button with a click handler to increment the count. So the inner HTML displays the count variable and on click handler calls set count passing in count plus one. If you now include this component in app component and go back to the browser, we should have a working counter implemented using hooks. But this is nothing new. What we really want to achieve is to change the document title on button click of this functional component. And you might have guessed it already, we will be using the effect hook. So in hook counter onejs we are going to import use effect from React. Now how do we use this in the code? Well, just like use state, use effect is also a function. We simply have to call it. To this use effect hook, we pass in a parameter. This parameter is a function which gets executed after every render of the component. So let's pass in an arrow function which updates the document title. You clicked dollar count times. And that is pretty much it. 
I'm going to comment out the class component in app.js and let's test it out. In the browser, you can see that initially the document title reads, you clicked zero times. And when I click on the button, the count value increments and the document title is updated. So the behavior is as expected. We are causing side effects from a functional component using the effect hook. Now that we know how to use the effect hook, let me explain to you how it all works. When we specify use effect, we are basically requesting React to execute the function that is passed as an argument every time the component renders. And you heard me right, use effect runs after every render of the component. That might seem a bit weird, but conceptually, it is what we are trying to do with class components as well. On initial render, we want to execute some code and on every render after that, we want to execute the same code. With hooks, we have use effect for that exact same purpose. It runs both after the first render and after every update. We can of course customize that but let's save that discussion for another video. For now, all I want you to remember is that use effect runs after every render. The second detail to make note of is that use effect is placed inside the component. By doing this, we can easily access the component's state and props without having to write any additional code. So that is how to use the effect hook to cause side effects in a functional component. Import use effect from React, call it within the component and pass in a function which has to be executed after every render of that component. In our case, we are basically updating the document title after initial render and every subsequent render. All right, in the next video, let's take a look at another example. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.